Hello everyone. I'm going to explain what are rubrics in Google Classroom. Now rubrics are basically the parameters on which you assess students when you assess their assignments. Now assessing students on the basis of quiz is very simple because quizzes mostly have objective type of questions or very short answer type questions of one or two marks which is easier to assess. But when you give your students assignments, you need to find out or chalk out an objective way of assessing your students. So you can basically create certain parameters on the basis of which you can objectively assess them. So uh, for example, uh, if you are giving your students to uh, write a composition in English, you can create the basic parameters, you judge them on the basis of their vocabulary, their sentence construction, their grammatical usage, uh, their spellings, these can be your parameters. Similarly, when you are giving the students assignment on Google Classroom, you can set these rubrics by virtue of which your colleague can uh, assess the students based on the same rubrics so there's uniformity among you and even the students when they are answering your assignments they can also have a look that on what are on what parameters you're going to judge them you're going to evaluate them and uh, how you're going to assess them so they can prepare their assignments based on those parameters and they can also uh, kind of uh, know exactly why they have got whatever marks they have got based on those basic rudimentary steps of uh, performance what they have done according to the parameters selected so now let's get started uh, when we uh, when we open the google classroom and we give an assignment in the google classroom Suppose this is the assignment I have given, alright. Now this assignment, uh, setting assignment page opens and uh, on the right hand side below we get this rubrics option. Now rubric has these options creating a new rubric or reusing a new rubric or importing it. I am just creating. Now when I open this, I see that uh, I have given my first question as write the learning objectives according to revised rules taxonomy. So what I can do is. I have to give uh, a criterion title that is for example learning objectives. Now I give a description that what kind of learning objectives do I desire my students to give. So uh, I have written here that all statements and action verbs must be correct. That means the set statements of the objectives along with their action verbs they must be correct. Now I allot uh, 5 points. I allot in level title excellent and all correct. The description is all correct. Now, if my student uh, has uh, the other level, now I select that is, if uh, the student will get four four marks, four points. If there is one mistake, so it's very good kind of standard. So my student will get three marks and it's good level level title and the description is if there are two mistakes. Similarly, I can keep on adding the various levels and uh, I can uh, even start add criteria as many as I want. So, uh, it can be detailed uh, according to the requirement of the subject and of course uh, the level of uh, students, uh, the age of the age and level of the students, the grade of the students. So, uh, this is how I have just fixed up these from 5 points to 1 point. So, my colleagues or my students can know exactly for what mistake or for what uh, performance what marks they are going to get and I can also assess them on the basis of these rubrics. Now let me add one more criterion title. For example, I have given a question, frame 5 questions mention both, both the dimensions okay, of objectives. So I give the criterion title as questions uh, 
uh, I give the criterion description as questions properly constructed marks allotted that means each question must have marks allotted specifically and objective dimensions mentioned. So now I just add that both objective dimensions that is the cognitive process domain and the knowledge to, uh, dimension both must be mentioned beside each question. So these are my criteria. If everybody fulfills, if whoever fulfills all these criteria will be marked accordingly. Now I give the points. Five points for excellent excellent performance. Now what, what is excellent performance? That means when all is correct, all correct answers. If somebody writes all the answers correctly, uh, they will get uh, five points and if it is all correct. Similarly, I reduce the points that is four points. I, uh, it will be very good performance if they have just made one error. All right. Similarly, uh, three points if they have they are they are good and they have made two errors. In this way, I can keep on adding the levels. Right, and. This is how I can very categorically dis describe who will get what marks according to the performance. So that adds objectivity in my assessment of even an essay type question or a, a kind of a, a paragraph type of question. So uh, this is from excellent to poor. I know exactly for what errors, what marks to give. So this can be shared. Now, when I do it, it's out of uh, it's five marks allotted for this one. So when I just create my rubrics, I just save it. So my uh, rubrics get saved. So now, uh, see, it's written over here below that rubrics two criteria, ten points, they have been saved. And this is the overall picture of the rubrics after they are created. So that is how we use rubrics for Google Classroom. Thank you.